Good day. My name is Jean Paul Goris. I'm the CEO of a company called SmartWorks Group. Uh, we're an HR and IR consultancy. And this morning, I want to take about five minutes of your time just to explain in layman terms what human resources is. And I think if you allow me, I just want to go to the whiteboard and draw some pictures. You know, we always like to draw pictures. So this morning, like I said, I wanted to explain what HR is in layman terms. And when I say layman terms, it's for people who don't necessarily have an education or a, <coughs> a degree in HR, but who understand that HR is important for their business. In any HR relationship, there are two parties. There is the employee, and you have the employer. And they have a relationship which is based on a contract. Now, that's all good and well, but there's, there's got to be a bridge between the two. So that if there's ever a disagreement between the employee and the employer, that there's a function. And that function is the human resources function. Now, when I say this function, there's obviously other things that go, go with that. But the basics is that the human resources to ensure that the, the relationship between the employer and the employee is maintained. And it's a good relationship, a relationship where there's communication and there's expectations on both sides, and both sides are happy with that expectation. Now, those expectations from the employee's side is documented in the contract of employment. As well, the secondary document would be the job description. Now, the employee will know what he needs to do in order for him to be remunerated by the employer. And that remuneration is obviously documented in the contract of employment. Now, the HR needs to make sure that the employee here is performing in relation to the job description as well as in line with the contract of employment. The employer must give the, a sufficient training and resources for the employer to do his job. Now, what often happens is, in the business environment, and particularly when it comes to smaller companies, this function here is fulfilled by the employer. It could be the employer, it could be a family member, or someone in the employer's employment who is not an HR manager, but a manager. So what happens is that that person is put on the sideline to fulfill the HR function, not really understanding what it entails. That means this person or the employer for all intents and purposes is taking a lot of time to maintain this bridge. And this bridge is extremely important. If this bridge starts showing little cracks in it, for whatever reason, and it could be a myriad of reasons for that. If the employer shows these cracks, the bridge shows these cracks, then what happens is, if those cracks are not filled or taken care of, the bridge falls down. And the relationship between the employer and the employee becomes untenable. And there's different reasons for those things. But I think this morning, all I wanted to explain is that the age of function in organization is pivotal. Why? It makes sure that the employer gets the maximum, what's the right word for it, performance out of the employee. And the employee is happy with the way that the employer is treating him, is remunerating him, um, and also assisting him to become the best employee he's possible to be. Now, in HR, there are different areas, but this morning, what's important for you to understand, if you're a business owner who doesn't have a full-time HR person, that this function takes a lot of time. And we all know that time is expensive. Time costs money. And at the end of the day, if we are as a consultancy can help you save time, so you can spend more time on your core business, then we're fulfilling our function. So this morning, I'm hoping that whatever I've explained to you gives you some background as to what we could offer as a consultancy. We could offer this service to make sure that this bridge is maintained and that we can take care of all these cracks and make sure that it's a solid and strong bridge. I thank you for your time and I hope you have a great